Hey everyone, it's Dom from Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals, and welcome back to the channel. So this week, I got my hands on an A10 Mini HDMI switcher by Blackmagic Design. And I'm excited for this video because it's going to be a bit different than anything that I've done before. This video is going to be in the style of a multi-camera live stream program, using this HDMI switcher and the program that it comes with to control all the elements in this video as it goes on. And as you may have noticed, I'm already doing this as we speak. So this video is basically going to act like a demo for a lot of the live stream and multicam features that this switcher and its program allow for. So obviously this year with so many people turning to live streaming to keep their events and things going, I'd say that there was definitely a demand for a video switcher aimed at smaller scale productions, especially one that's so affordable and so intuitive. And that's precisely what Blackmagic did with this A10 Mini. Compared to more professional switchers, it's a bit bare bones, but like I said, for a lot of smaller scale productions, this thing does pretty much everything you need it to do. So it's an HDMI only switcher and it has four HDMI inputs and one HDMI output for monitoring, which is pretty much a necessity because there's no built-in monitor in this unit. And as you can tell right here, I'm just using this Ninja as a small program monitor. It's got an ethernet port and a USB-C for connection to the computer, which is what I'm using to connect it to the software right now. It has two 3.5 millimeter stereo mic jacks, not XLRs, which is definitely one of those things that separates this unit from a more professional one. What does feel really legit about the A10 Mini though is this awesome interface. It's got these really nice light up sort of rubbery buttons, and I think that the layout is really thoughtfully done. Each source has a large Q button with the controls for audio follows video above them, and above Above sources one and two are the microphone controls. On the right side of the board, you get some program actions like cut, which does a hard cut to the next cued source. And then you also have auto, which will automatically transition to the next cued source using a pre-selected transition above. Next, it has a fade to black button, which will just fade to black over your current source. Above that are a few transitions and some options for transition durations. And above that are the picture in picture options. Finally, next to that are on and off buttons for toggling a key. So that's what you're gonna get with just the ATEM Mini switcher board, which could definitely get you by. But if you pair it up with the ATEM software control, that's when you're really unlocking this thing's full potential. With the software, this basically gives you an even more advanced virtual switcher board, allows you to monitor the camera and audio sources, and allows you to queue up media. Okay, so now I'm pretty much just going to be doing a live demo of a lot of the functions that this ATEM Mini switcher and the software control program allow you to do, just so you can see what they look like. So after using this, my first impression is I want to use this on every one of my videos. I think simply just switching between sources live, I just find so fun. And I think I love it so much because it gives you all this power right at your fingertips. So pretty much my main complaint with this unit is that the only output option you get is the full final clean HDMI out. So there's no way of actually viewing all of your sources at the same time, but I'm pretty sure that they included this with the ATEM Mini Pro. Also, mic jacks are nice, but I would have seriously preferred 
at least one XLR, simply because so many microphones use XLRs. But I gotta keep in mind that this unit was geared towards smaller scale productions. I can say though that this thing took me about one hour to learn the switcher and the program, so I can absolutely vouch for its ease of use. This really would be absolutely perfect for at home live streaming, or anybody who's virtually teaching or instructing right now. And at only $300, there aren't that many video switchers that can do what this thing can. So I think Blackmagic really nailed it on this one. Okay, so that's gonna conclude this video demonstration on the ATEM Mini HDMI video switcher by Blackmagic Design. If you have any questions about this unit in particular, or HDMI switchers in general, drop a comment in the comment section below, and we'll start a discussion about entry-level solutions for live streaming and multi-camera shoots. Anyways, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned in for more of our weekly content. And we'll see you in the next one.